quick glazing tip for um, shapes when you don't have very much glaze left. So I'm literally finishing off the last little bit of spectacular. Um, and I want to glaze a couple of tumblers. And so what I've got is I have got a pot that's basically it's the same size, just a fraction bigger than the piece itself. So what you'll see is that um, because it's nearly the same size, it displaces the majority of the glaze in that bottom section. So as I dip, the level of the glaze will rise from there to more or less the top. Um, just because this container did have water in it before, there will be a little bit of water that hasn't fully mixed in unless I did that. So, for those who haven't seen it before, I will add a picture to the video now of what this is going to look like, but you can see um, that there are... That would, been, that would have been a disaster. I haven't got any more of it mixed up. You can see the chunks in there. Um, because this is a speckled glaze, I will link to the video where I explain what I'm doing with them um, and why, but this is the Valentine special. Someone asked if they could have few pieces and I literally have enough glaze left to do this and no more. So first thing is just wipe down the bisquare quickly to make sure there's no dust on it. Then I checked the rim's got no sharp bits. If I had a handle I'd check it um, as well because you can sand them off while it's bisquare you can sand it off effortlessly. Once you've glazed it that's it. Uh, Inner glaze. And then, car dent puller is vital for things like this because obviously the whole point is that it's filling the container so you couldn't get tongs and you couldn't get your fingertips. And you just dunk down and as you dunk, the level of the glaze rises up. See how much it changes. And with nowhere near enough glaze in the bucket to dip this. I have successfully dipped it and actually there's so much displacement there you could keep going until you get down to about that much glaze. So I can dip a tumbler in probably in less glaze than the tumbler would actually hold. So effective this is so just go through that again in a glaze and I roll it around so the overlap as I put it in I roll it just to make sure it lands the inside and as I push down the glaze comes up to meet it For the car dent puller, you need to wax resist the base. I've got a full video on them. I will link um, that in the, the description as well. There are a few tricks to making it work. Um, I know some people don't have as much joy with them as I do, but uh, the simple fact is, if it sticks to anything, it should stick to your pots. Um, and for comparison, this is a mostly full bucket of glaze. One of the things that helps is making sure the surface is slightly wet so it can seal around the edge. But this is about five kilos of glaze and it can pick it up. And if it can do that, it can hold a pot. So what you want to do to check that yours works is try sticking it against something like glass. If it sticks to glass, then it's just a process problem that's stopping it working on your pots. Uh, so yeah, links below, but hopefully that's helpful for anyone that doesn't have much glaze left and still has things to glaze.